largest city in the nation to declare bankruptcy 10 years ago today was a dark day for the city of Stockton. But tonight, ABC 10's Kurt Rivera has a closer look at the lessons learned. Stockton 2012, a time when the port city became a bankrupt city. We just happened to happen to hit at a time when the bottom fell out of everything. I was used the word terrifying for not only the community, but the business community, everybody. Doug Wilhoyt was CEO of the Stockton Chamber of Commerce when the dark financial cloud engulfed the city. It was the fear of the unknown. Just the, uh, the reputation of the community, but more or less the services that might be lost, whether it be police, fire, public works. Just a few years earlier, like most of America, the economy was in a much different place. It was at a time where the economy was doing good. Homes were selling like hotcakes, but then the housing bubble burst and the financial crisis began. Unable to pay a laundry list of creditors and facing over $2 billion in labor agreements and long-term debt, July 28, 2012, Stockton filed Chapter 9 bankruptcy. The city was running a $26 million deficit. It was a very rough time. Kim Trammell was the city's budget analyst in 2012. She says one big lesson learned was not assuming the economy will remain positive when securing long-term contracts with employees. Our revenues declined dramatically, and so we just couldn't afford the um, commitments that we had made prior to the economy turning down. Fast forward to today, and current city manager Harry Black says Stockton is financially solvent, but proceeding with caution. We're solid from a financial standpoint, uh, but again, it's never forgetting that it's very easy to quickly to get into financial trouble versus being able to get out of it. And the city came out of bankruptcy in February 2015. As part of the plan, the city was able to settle with retirees to eliminate free retiree health care. The city's plan to pay off debts continues until 2053.